Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. Remember in the last video where I told you I was going on holiday and gave you some advice on what to do to look after your fish tanks while you go on holiday? And I said in there something along the lines of there are plenty of ways we as aquarists, me specifically as aquarists, can kill fish. Going on holiday is not going to be one of them. That is not the normal colour for an aquarium. So I've literally just got home. Every other tank I've checked is absolutely fine, all the fish are fine, I've done dipstick tests and everything, everything's fine except for this tank. I can see fish floating at the top, I think everything's dead, there's, hmm, it's not a heater failure or anything like that, but the grey water is a big giveaway that something's not gone right. These are the two tanks that I had my discus in, so this is one of my discus tanks, I can't even remember how many fish is in there, but enough to be pissed off about it. So. I'm going to drain the water a little bit. Yeah, I can see at least four fish floating. This isn't good. So, it's fairly obvious that the water quality is terrible in there, but I don't know what the actual problem is or what caused this. But right now it's really just a clean-up mission. The soup is so thick I can't actually see in there, so I don't know if there's there any fish alive. I highly doubt it at this rate. It doesn't actually smell that bad though. So, trying to figure out what's gone wrong. It's hard to tell. I'll, I'll show you the fish now. It's a bit gruesome. There's eight discus that I've lost in this tank. It clears some of the murkiness out of the tank and starts to get it back together. I found another three in there, so 11 altogether. Which is nothing short of a catastrophe, really. <laughs> uh, well. So, if you have been here before, you'll know discus are my favourite fish. So to lose a whole tank full of them is pretty gutting. Nothing to do with the financial cost of eight high quality discus. It's the... It's not even to do with the fact that it's, oh, every life is precious. It's, these are things that are in your care and then when you let them down, it just feels a bit shitty. Um, trying to piece together what's happened. Don't know, I've gone around every other tank, done proper tests now, everything's where I expect it to be. This tank, the only thing that's out of out of whack is the obviously the ammonia is off the charts. Um, it's, it's almost like it's a tank of bleach at the moment. What I think has happened is the second that I left, a fish died and then started to rot because discus tanks are quite warm in general, that does speed up the, the process a little bit. So there's one fish in there that's been pecked a bit, it's been eaten a bit, so I think that tank, that fish died. Obviously if I had been here, I'd come down every day and check on the fish, I'd have scooped that fish out and that would have been it. Um, I don't know why it died, there's nothing, nothing obvious in any of the fish. Um, but it does happen every now and again, a fish just dies. But because I wasn't here for five days, that's five days of creating this ammonia soup, which took out the rest of them. It's a fairly classic way to lose a tank of fish. It's, oh, some would say it's even a beginner way to lose a tank of fish. So yeah, a little bit pissed off. trying to find some kind of positive to take from all of this, but I'm struggling. Um, obviously the theory worked. Every other tank in here, every other fish is fine. All the water parameters and all the other tanks completely fine. But it doesn't make these fish not unalive. So luckily every other tank, as I say, absolutely fine. Humphrey, the channel mascot, he's doing good. He's happy. I've just been around feeding everything. 
everything's good other than obviously an excess of algae build up when I did come in actually all the lights were on which is unusual for this time so I don't know if the lights have been on the whole time since I've been away but I've got some discus left thankfully is it thankfully? I don't know so these are my larger discus in this tank and this was the smaller newer juvenile discus in this tank and a couple of the larger ones um, so if anything I'm more attached to these ones because I've had them longer but still yeah, there is no positive spin to put on this. Other than all the other fish are doing absolutely fantastic. If in need of a bit of a tank clean to get rid of some algae. So even the fry, so this is the rainbow fry. These are the ones I was actually worried about while I was away. If anything, there's more of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've, they've survived the week and even put on weight. So, yeah, the process is okay, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make that tank any better. So, it's Friday now, there will be a live stream tonight at 9 o'clock, which is in a couple of hours. Um, won't take much to edit this video, other than to show you everything that I've killed this week. I'll try and take better care of you. Um, I used to pride myself on this channel being very open and honest about everything that goes well and everything that goes wrong. There's a lot of things going wrong at the minute, so it does make one want to sit back and take stock. Um, obviously, I'll have to put on a YouTube-y thumbnail and title for this. Everything died, oh no. Uh, and lots of people will probably watch this video. But if you have come here because of all that, stick around. I hope I will make videos again of good things that happen. I have made a few hundred videos and most of them are positive. Um, early days because I'm just assessing this myself but I don't think this was necessarily a mistake on my part but it feels like a bit of a cop out to say it's just bad luck I don't know join me on my live stream tonight at 9 or any other Friday at 9pm hopefully it won't be another depressing one tonight but we'll talk about this as well as any other things we've got going I'll spend another couple of hours cleaning things up in here making sure everything's tip top and never go on holiday again. No, but I mean, that's the thing, it's, this shouldn't be about never going on holiday. You've got to take time away. Um, I don't think if I'd got anyone in to help, we'd have been able to do anything other than spot that there was a dead fish and get it out there, I guess. That might have slowed down things, but unless someone was coming in every day, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining me. This was a nice cheesy video, wasn't it? Um, yeah, see you in the next one. Hopefully that'll be more positive. Bye.